and welcome back to another episode of Remembering Forgotten Memories, aka Throwback Thursday, or in this case, because it's Friday, Flashback Friday. So, uh, as you can guess by the title, we're going to be talking about shoes today. We all know I love shoes, but, um, uh, ironically, I hate feet, but I love shoes. But, um, uh, <laughs> so this story takes place in 8th grade. When I was in 8th grade, this is like 1998 to 1999, right in there, which was at the height of the resurgence of 60s and 70s fashion, which, of course, I was all over this. I was eating this shit up. I was like, I'm finally fashionable for once in my life. My interests have come back into vogue. I love it. And so did everybody else for that brief moment in time, and I was so sad when it went away again. And I've been waiting for it to truly come back another time, and it kind of hasn't ever since, so it makes me sad. I'm, I'm still holding out, but it made it so easy to find, like, denim bell bottoms, and, like, the bigger the bells, the better. I have one friend that would brag that she had, like, 40-inch bells. I was so jealous of her. I think my best were, like, 28, 29, somewhere in there. Um, regardless... A lot of my clothes, however, despite having a lot of modern new ones that were based off the old fashions, came from my mom's closet because, let's face it, we're a family of pack rats and hoarders here, but um, she had held on to all her, her old clothes from the 60s and 70s. Now, in the 60s, she was a literal child, but I've always been so tiny and undersized for my age that I could fit into her childhood clothes well into my teens. I basically was able to continue wearing my own childhood clothes up until a few years ago when I put on an extra 15 pounds, and if I took it back off I could probably still fit in them, but that's neither here nor there. But the 70s clothes, those were her teenager clothes, and those were the ones I had my sights set on. And for her, they were just sitting in the back of a closet. She never wore them anymore. She couldn't even dream of fitting in them ever again, but she wanted to hold on to them because she felt fashions come back around. Maybe I could fit in them again one day. Yeah, no, never happened. But, um, so they came into my acquisition because not only would they fit me, but this was like my thing. So I kind of took over like her entire old wardrobe. And as part of this wardrobe, I got all her old shoes, even though the shoes still fit her. She was no longer wearing a lot of these old shoes. Um, she and I both happened to wear the same size. We're both eights. So, I mean, you know, made my life easy. Was able to just raid her closet on that score, too. And she had this collection of old sandal wedges slash platforms, depending which you call them. I mean, some people are picky about they're either platforms or they're wedges. They're not both. I'm like, oh, trust me. These fit the, the bill for both, because with wedges, generally the toe isn't that far off the ground. It's the heel that's big and platformy. No, 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 no. Make no mistake. The toe was also about this far off the ground, so the heel was up about here. They looked like friggin' Spice Girls shoes. They were amazing, and I fell in love with these damn things, and there were so many of them. She had, like, wooden ones. She had cork ones. She had rubber ones. She had, like, the whole gamut. She had rainbow ones. She had natural-looking ones. She had black, white, blue, purple. She had them, like, every color under the sun. And then they became mine. I legit still have a few pairs of them at this point, even now, that I still occasionally wear. But, um, again, neither here nor there. But, as you can probably surmise from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about the cork ones. There's a cute little thing that cork does when it's natural cork. If it's synthetic cork, you generally don't run into this issue, but these were natural cork because they were from the 70s, height of the eco-hippies and everything, wanting to repurpose things, and they were so cute. They were these strappy sandals, white straps on them, I believe, if I remember right. The sides were the cork. They were not only adorable, they gave me like an extra six inches of height, which is somebody who was at that point only 4'10", I needed that extra height, okay? How I managed to not trip and break my neck, I have no idea how I managed that, given that I'm the clumsiest person on the planet. But somehow I mercifully never did in any of my platforms. But um, anyway, 
they were so cute, but they were also really comfy because they were cork. They were like kind of buoyant. They would give you a little bit of bounce to your step just naturally. They were great. I loved those damn things. And for the first half of eighth grade, I was able to wear them. No problem. I didn't wear them every single day. I kind of alternated between the different platforms that I had because being so short, with all these new platforms that, I, or not these platforms, these new bell bottoms that I had gotten, it's very interesting for me to go pants shopping because for me to have things fit right around the waist, the pants are always about like a foot too long. Even if I shop in petites, I still have this issue unless I shop for capris, which just fit me like normal pants. So, I mean, this has always been a thing. But the platforms were one way that I was able to mitigate this problem, actually have them look like they fit right, and it was wonderful. First half of the year, not a problem. Come back from winter break. It's been rainy and shit. It's almost my birthday. I'm kind of rocking that shit. I've got my cork platforms on. And before first period, I go over across the courtyard to go hang out with my friends because eighth grade was the year I actually had some for once. And <laughs> that's so sad, I know, but I actually consistently had some all year that year. That was very unusual for me. And we're talking and shit. I hadn't noticed I'd walked through a puddle. With any normal shoes, that really wouldn't make a damn bit of difference other than... You know, in sandals, you might, your toes might get wet or something, but I mean, these are platforms, so yeah, that didn't happen. I didn't even realize I'd walk through a puddle. And my friend Alex is looking at me, she's looking at the ground, I see her looking behind me, and I'm like, what? She's like, are you dropping a, a trail of breadcrumbs behind you, Jen? And I was like, what the fuck? No. What the hell are you talking about? She's like, look down. I look down, I don't notice anything. She's like, turn around. I do it. What the hell? She's like, yeah, leads right to you. Um, so, wanna tell me about that? And I was like, I haven't dropped anything. You literally watched me walk up to the group. I, I haven't dropped anything. She's like, your shoes. I, you know, do the thing. I'm barefoot right now, but I look and, oh my god. I notice, like, what essentially looked like a mouse hole out of the side of one of my sandals, where apparently it has started to crumble and is leaving this trail of cork everywhere I walk. And I put my foot back down and more crumbles off and I am mortified. I'm like, oh my God. She's like, how old are those? I was like, well, older than me. She's like, yeah, yeah, about that. You need some new shoes. I was like, yeah, apparently I do. This has never happened. I've worn these so many times. This has never, ever happened. She's like, yeah, I don't really understand why it's happening either. I mean, you can see a puddle on the bottom of your shoe. Maybe you're not supposed to get those wet. And I was like, my mom never warned me not to get them wet, but maybe. I don't know. It beats me. So I'm very, very self-conscious as of that point and have become the butt of all jokes as of that point on that day with my friends. Uh, not really mean-spirited from them, but from everyone else on campus, though, it would quickly become mean-spirited because I'm just like, how am I going to hide this? I don't have a spare pair of shoes here. What am I going to do? Um... And there is no hiding it. I'm, like, trying to, like, rub it with my hand, seeing if I can just get all the loose bits off. Maybe it'll stop, but it's just making it worse, so I stop fucking with it, thinking, well, maybe it'll only do it to a certain extent, and then it'll stop. Maybe, you know, once it dries off, it'll knock it off. No. Nope. My first period class was all the way back across the entire campus, literally entire opposite end from where my group of friends would hang out in the mornings before first period. So I had to now walk back across the courtyard and leave a second trail behind me. I'm literally noticing people looking down and trying to figure out what the hell is that and noticing exactly who it's leading to, exactly who it's coming from. I'm just like, oh my god, kill me now, just, oh. And there's nothing I can do, because I can't make it stop falling apart. I have no spare pair of shoes. I can't really walk around barefoot, because these 
are strappy sandal shoes. I don't even have socks on. I would literally be barefoot, which would be breaking dress code, so I can't do that either. Even though I would quite happily walk around barefoot if I were allowed to, but that's neither here nor there. So, <laughs> I get to my first period class. I I'm just trying to, you know, rearrange my denim jacket down on the floor. Oh, my ankles, like, half draped over my backpack, half draped around my ankles, thinking maybe I can hide it, you know, maybe, maybe this is how I'll get through the day. Yeah, no, because this is the day my teacher decides, here, go hand out these paper, these worksheets to everyone in the class. So I now have to get up. And now the trail is following me between all the tables and everybody's looking down like, ew, what is that? I'm just like, my shoes. And the teacher, I can see her looking. I can see the silent look of judgment on her face, but she, for whatever reason, did not say a word about it. So, all right, I'm the butt of all jokes in this class and now they're mean jokes because none of my friends were in any of my classes, except for one, and that was towards the end of the day. But, again, neither here nor there, so fine. I go to my second class of the day, which involves walking back across the entire campus a second time! And now there is a third trail of cork on the ground, and the hole is getting bigger on my shoe. By this point, it no longer looks like a little mouse hole. No, no. It looks like... Do I have a shoe here for reference? No, not right near. Okay, uh, actually, yes I do. I haven't even worn these yet, but just for the sake of argument, yeah, I guess they'll work. Okay, so pretend that these are a platform, right? Pretend there's a platform on the bottom. What started out as being like a little spot like this being a hole in the bottom, is now about like this in the bottom and it's getting worse with every step I take and I'm panicking worse and worse I'm getting more and more people making fun of me and laughing at me as the day goes on making fun of me because I'm poor and because my parents are meth addicts and yeah it's just like you'd be amazed how fast shit travels across a campus but yeah that was not good. Um, so I make it to the next class where mercifully I am sat for two class periods back to back. So at least I didn't have to leave that classroom once I'd settled in. But that teacher noticed. He noticed. And he takes me aside at one point in between the two classes. He's like, are you, um, I hate to point this out, but, uh, I think you're having a wardrobe malfunction with, with your shoes. And now it's not just one shoe. Oh, no, no, no. Now it's both of them have begun doing it. Because apparently, in my having to walk across the entire campus, I stepped in another puddle. Yup. Yup, that was a thing. So, uh, I'm just like, yeah, I kind of don't know what to do about it. He's like, do you have a spare pair of shoes you could change into? I'm like, I don't. I don't. I didn't know this was going to happen or I wouldn't have worn them in the first place. I would have worn some shoes that, you know, aren't going to fall apart. <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, you like own other shoes. I was like, well, of course. <laughs> Just they're not here with me. Kind of a problem. It's Just like, could you maybe go to the office and call your parents to bring you another pair? I'm like, I don't know. I think my dad's at work by now. I don't think he's going to come home from, like, next city over just to drive me some sh or some shoes from home and then go back to work just to come back home again later at the end of the day. Yeah, no, he's not going to do that. I'll go call. If it'll make you feel better, make you feel a little less uncomfortable, but I don't see him doing it. So I go off to the office. I call my dad. He was like, ha ha, dumbass, and he hung up. I am not even joking. That was literally how that phone call went. I was like, should have seen that coming. Really should have. Didn't. Thought somehow maybe I'd get sympathy. No, no, no. Um, not much has changed. He would probably still have that same response today if this happened, but... Um, <laughs> and it's not like I could just call my mom because she didn't drive. So... 
I was kind of screwed. I mean, what was I going to do? Call, like, my grandparents? How, what are they going to do? Like, magically go buy a pair of shoes that they think maybe I'd like just so... Yeah, no, that wasn't going to happen either. So, fine. I'm stuck wearing these damn shoes. Go back to the class. Tell me, yeah, I told you. He's not going to drive me any. So, <laughs> I, I mean, this teacher, he was so sweet. I honestly thought he felt so bad for me that I was wondering if maybe he was going to go drive to my house and buy me some, or not buy, <laughs> to go find me some shoes or something. Although I don't know how he would have gotten in, but yeah, regardless, he did not go to my house to go get me shoes. But, um, I thought maybe for how bad he felt, maybe it was at least a possibility, or at least he could drive me there to go get another pair of shoes, but no, no, it didn't happen. Had to carry on about my day. Got to lunchtime. At this point, I'm just so mortified. I'm like, I'm not even sure if I want to go back to my group of friends. I kind of just want to go hide out in the bathroom and hopefully not face anybody except for the fact that they would still know I'm in there because there's a trail of powder and cork everywhere I walk. So all they would have to do is see the powder walking up to a bathroom stall and know that's where the girl to make fun of is. So you know that shit happened. <laughs> Given that I knew exactly how that would pan out. But, um, they were making fun of me through the door. They're like, yeah, we can see your shoes under the door. It's just like, oh my god, stop. Stop. So I'm like, now trying to like huddle up on top of the toilet, which at this point, with how broken the shoes are at this point, now it's like a big gaping hole that's like the entire middle portion of the platform is missing at this point on one of the shoes. And it's like flopping back and forth because all that's left now is just the little leather sole on the shoe that my foot is on. And then we've got some cork still on the heel and some on the toe, but everything in the middle is gone, so it's like bloop, 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 and every time it does it, more is falling off of it. I'm trying to balance on top of the toilet seat. The other shoe's not that bad yet, but the one that's been doing it since that morning is just toast, and I don't really know what to do, and I'm like almost falling in the damn toilet trying to hide, and they're like, uh, oh, did you fall in? Uh, did you die in there? Uh, it's just like, oh my god, go away, please. And I'm like, at this point, I mean, I'm an easy crier. It doesn't take much to hurt my feelings and make me cry. I'm like sobbing at this point, which of course is just making them thrive off of this. And they're just making fun of me that much worse. Yeah, cry, baby, with the stupid bag of chips. You're poor. Huh? There was probably more to it than that at the time, but I think my brain has mercifully blocked out those comments, and it's blocked out a lot of the bullying I incurred throughout school, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that. So, I hide in there literally all of lunch period, because I just don't want to be seen at this point. But I know I have to come back out sometime, and so do they! And it only takes about two steps before, at this point, now I do take a little bit of a tumble because it's like almost impossible to walk on the damn things. Yeah, so I finally am just like, screw it, I don't care. My pants are long enough, no one's gonna know the difference if I take this off, because they're not gonna see my foot on this side. I'm gonna just take my chances. So I take the damn thing off, I chuck it in my backpack. And now, <laughs> And now, I've got the one platform on, and the one not, so I'm like, yeah, cause that's subtle, right? For every step, it's like, the one with the shoe, and thump, thump, and every time that I fall onto the side without a shoe, it's making more break off the other one that does have some on it. So I finally hit the point of, fuck this. I take the other one off. I'm like, I'm just gonna hope like hell no one notices that I have no shoes on. <laughs> so I go to my second last period class of the day. And of course, literally everyone knows about the shoes now. And they're like, oh, what were your shoes? What are your stupid freaking shoes? I want to see how broken they are. I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm not showing you the shoes. 
And I'm like basically sitting like on my knees at this point in my seat trying to hide the fact A. I don't want people seeing the shoes. B. I don't want them seeing I have no shoes on. So I'm like as long as I don't have to get up there's a good chance I might have half a shot at getting away with this. As long as I don't step on something sharp, I should be good. Which thankfully didn't freaking happen. Yay me for apparently being enough of a hick that I walk around barefoot all the time when I wasn't at school to where I had calluses on the bottom of my feet from walking around on gravel outside at home to where this did not bother me a bit. So, all right. I make it through to like the last period of the day. This teacher noticed because I moved my leg in such a way to where the pant leg fell back a little. And they're like, are you barefoot? And I was like, I am. Can I talk to you for a minute? Just private outside the classroom. And they let me walk out there with them. And I explain the situation. And I show them the shoes. And at this point, they mentioned why didn't you just go get your gym shoes from the locker room? I've gone around all day like this with these broke ass fucking shoes and then going around barefoot and not one person till that last period teacher felt the need to mention that that was an option I could do. Like, even the one that had me go call my dad, asking if he could bring me another pair of shoes. He did not even mention that it would be an option to just go into the locker room and go get my gym shoes. I didn't even know you were allowed to go into the locker room on days that you didn't have gym. Because we had block scheduling at that school. Do you understand how livid I was as of this moment? But since it was the last period of the day, it was kind of like, fuck it, I don't even care anymore. I was like, can I just, would it be okay if I just stick it out this last class period and just hope for the best, please? Even if I get written up and sent to the office and punished for breaking dress code, please, can I just, it's the last period of the day, please. And they're like, okay. And actually, she was cool enough to not send me to the office over it. Because she felt really bad that I had gone through this and had been bullied so mercilessly all day. And she knew damn well that I was the target of a shit ton of bullying anyway. So the fact that this had happened, it wasn't really my fault that it happened. I had no way of knowing that this was going to happen. It just had been unfortunate enough to not think of that one option that I could have done all day and no one had pointed it out to me apparently because they like to exploit my dumb but um yeah that so I go home from school yeah this story isn't over yet no I go home from school I go to my mom <laughs> I'm like mom did you know you can't get cork sandals wet and she's like what did you do I was like, oh, wait, what? What? I'm somehow in trouble for this now? She's like, show me the shoes. What'd you do to them? I was like, really, though? So I take them out of the bag. She's like, what the fuck did you do to her? And she was, like, livid. I mean, again, she was not that but I mean, she was, like, freaking livid and shit. And she was screaming at me and telling me she'd never give me any of her shoes again because apparently I can't be trusted with them to not break them. I was just like, you never told me they can't get wet. They're shoes. Who makes shoes that can't get wet? And this turned into like a whole big thing. Like a major thing. To the point where she did call my dad at work. And she's yelling at him to get his ass home and apparently deal with me. I was just like, how is this my fault? <laughs> Holy crap. Like, just moral of the story. Drugs are bad. <laughs> like, and apparently so is wearing cork sandals if you're going to be anywhere near even a tiny bit of water because apparently it does not take much it's not like I totally submerged the damn things it wasn't even like a big puddle it was a little puddle it was like maybe this deep at best and I like walked through it for like a second like a step in it it should not have made that big of an impact but it did 
Guess who never, ever, ever wore cork sandals again after that point? I think there was, like, one other pair of them that I had from her. I gave those the hell back. I was like, you know what? You take them. I don't want them. I don't want these. You have them. I have no interest in these after this experience. <laughs> they can go suck a dick. I don't want them. Just get them away from me. Just... Oh my god. <laughs> so mortified. And, like, for at least a good month after this point, I was still being ridiculed over that pair of shoes. So badly. Even though it was a one-time deal, I got so ridiculed. And basically anything I wore as of that point, they took this as, like, carte blanche to just, like, make fun of me over those. Just like, oh, is that gonna fall apart in water, too? I was just like, you're fucking dumb. Go away. <laughs> but of course, I was too chicken shit to actually say that at that age, but, you know, uh, this is, like, my first year in a public school setting at all. I mean, I still thought, like, the phrase, oh my god, was a bad word as of this point, so, I mean, you know, there's that, but, yeah, <laughs> not good. I don't think they even make sandals like that anymore, or platforms, I should say. Um, if they do, they typically use synthetic cork now. And for that, I am very grateful, but at the same time, I'm very distrustful anyway, and will never be buying another pair of those, even if they're synthetic, because I just don't trust them after that experience. <laughs> it was way too traumatizing. You all do what you want. You want to wear them, you, you go right ahead, but I gave you my tale of warning of what happened when I did, and they got wet. I just, I personally would never ever trust shoes made out of that again, synthetic or not. Just, nope, not happening. No way, no how. Not chancing that shit. <laughs> so, anyways, hopefully you guys learned something like to not buy cork shoes <laughs> uh, from the story. If you enjoyed it and you enjoy my displeasure, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not already in like me, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Did this story make you laugh? Did it make you cringe? Did it make you something else? Let me know down below as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Tell me about your fashion faux pas that you had in school. Especially if they were middle school, because this was middle school for me that this happened in, so I mean, it'd kind of be comparable. Uh, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Make sure you follow my social media accounts, they're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. So anyway guys, till next time, bye.